What's up, Sacred Tribe, Sacred Squad? What it do? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, the energy is high. I am feeling good. It's Friday. It's a full moon. It's a lunar, a partial lunar eclipse. It's Scorpio season. It's fall. Listen, the sun is shining. Come on now. I got my tea. Now let's get into this video. Oh, wait. See, I'm doing it. If you're new here, what's up? Welcome. My name is Monica, and here on this channel, I provide conscious and essential content to enlighten your life and enhance your well-being. If that sounds like something you're interested in and you need in your life, which I know you do, be sure to join the tribe and hit subscribe. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit about what's in today's video, sis. We have a different setup. We're not doing yoga. What is going on? So today is actually going to be one of those videos where I come and I just have this real one-on-one -on -one conversation with you about just you know some topics that i think is important that as we're talking about enlightening our lives and enhancing our well-being that are important to really creating the life that we want for ourselves which i think we're all trying to do so in today's video i'm going to specifically focus on the power of letting go and releasing so that you can create and manifest it the life that you want for yourself so without further ado let's hop straight into this video today we are going to be talking about the power of letting go so that we can create the life that we want for ourselves now i want to first say that this is in honor of the full moon which i think is a symbol of not just celebration and coming into fullness but also a symbol of releasing and letting go because the full moon starts to wane back right after it's in its fullness which is the process of letting go and coming back to you know its dark self or you know its new self so there's this the moon symbolizes this process of again not just celebration but also letting go and then we're also in fall so i'm going to talk about fall but we're also in fall where we see the leaves just beautifully just drop to the ground and there's this beautiful process of releasing and letting go to prepare for the season not only the, not only thinking about during the season of fall anybody who maybe farms and, and and really is into agriculture this is the season where they harvest so we're also going to talk a little bit about harvesting okay this is the season where they gather the things they need in order to prepare for the season the winter season to come and then lastly we're also in scorpio season and like scorpio season i'm a scorpio and venus scorpio and pluto and scorpio is about transformation and rebirth okay in order to transform and Re be reborn into anything there has to be a process of releasing and letting go for that to take place so this is really just in hot in honor of all of these things that are just happening in the energy that we're in right now so let's jump into it so first i want to highlight that you know we're in the season of fall okay so if you look outside in nature what do you see you see the trees okay and the trees are what releasing their leaves now if you look into the science they say the trees are actually not just releasing the leaves like they're not just falling off as if the trees are passively doing nothing that the trees actually have um, you know chemicals that are released that actually push help them push the leaves off of their trees and and they then fall to the ground so there's actually this process where this tree is preparing itself for the winter by pushing these leaves off of its trees off of its tree because it knows that it can't survive with the leaves in the winter so it's getting rid of those things in order to prepare for the winter though so that it can survive it now the beautiful thing about the symbolism of this is when those leaves fall right they're not just like they have no purpose right those same leaves that fell from the tree and no longer serve the tree and, and the branches now serve the tree in a different sense right those same leaves now break down and become nourishment and nutrients for the tree so that it can prepare to create new leaves in the spring okay so much like us like well much like a tree 
if we were to release the things that no longer served us, that were not bringing value to our life, that we know in this, in this season, the season to come, I can't take this with me into the season I'm going into, so I must release it, that that same thing you will release will serve as nourishment and as fuel to help you create the life that you want for yourself. It will only help you be better. It will help you elevate. You will evolve. You would have learned from that what you released, and you'll even be able to maybe teach and help others from your own experience experience whether it's through just being a mirror and a model or actually sitting down like I am here and having real conversations about the things that you've done or the things that you've changed in order to create the life that you want for yourself so we be like tree be like a tree right let it go and then know in the process of whatever you're releasing it will come back and serve you for your highest good okay and in a whole different means than what you expected or what it may have served in the, in the past Okay, so that's the beauty I wanted to highlight about one letting go and how fall literally symbolizes to us this beautiful transformation that is happening energetically that we should be following and working through during this season. So sitting down and saying, what's no longer serving me? What do I want to release that isn't benefiting my highest self or isn't helping me reach the goals or the person I want to be? Right? What must I let go of? And then start to work to release that because that is the only way you can manifest the life you want. You can't say, I want to be, you know, I want to make six figures, but you know, and this is, this is me too. Like this is a message to me too. You can't say, I want to make six figures. And then yeah, every time you turn around, you're spending money, right? You're not saving anything. You're not investing. You're not, you're literally contradicting yourself, right? So you would have to let go of poor spending habits, right? You would have to let go of maybe unconsciously buying and getting things that you don't really need. Right? You might say, hey, I really, really want to work out and I really want to lose weight, but yet you're eating foods that are processed and that are that are um, gluten and that are heavy and that are adding to your weight. You're literally contradicting what you say you want. So we can't create the life we want for ourselves if we're holding on to the things that literally contradict where we say we want to be. And this is why letting go is so valuable and so important. Now, I also want to highlight the aspect of harvesting. During this time, it's also not just about letting go, but it's also about harvesting and gathering the things that you know will help you during the season to come, right? That's what, like I said, when you're in agriculture, and that's what they're doing right now, right? They're getting all of their things out of their gardens. They're preparing their packaging. Maybe they're canning some of those things in order to prepare for the winter. This is why this is called the harvest. Okay. So that same thing can happen for us. What are you harvesting? What should you harvest? What do you want to gather so that you can prepare yourself for the season to come that will help ground you and also that will just help you have a better spring and a better new energetic year when it comes around, right? Because we know our new physical year is January 1st, but energetically, right, we know that the true energetic new year does not begin until spring because we know nothing new grows in the winter. Right, so we're still in the same energetic year. Winter is the last cycle of the year. So we have to, again, what are we harvesting? What can we take in? What can we, And harvesting in the sense of habits as well, right? What can we, waking up early, working out, meditating, yoga, incorporating wellness in your life, incorporating better eating styles. What habits can you harvest to create the life that you want for yourself? That's a question maybe you can sit down and journal, think about or say, what habits am I already doing that I just want to get deeper rooted in, right, as I prepare to move into the winter? Uh, the last thing that I want to highlight before we pretty much wrap this video, because that's really all I wanted to share. Anytime a season comes about, it is a reflection of what we should be doing energetically, which is what sparked this video. And if you go look at my last year's video, I also did a video around the same time, around the same topic. Um, the only difference is actually this year, I'm gonna be doing it. Well, this time around, I'm gonna be doing every single season. So I'm gonna do winter next, and we're gonna talk about, you know, what do you do during winter season, and what are what is winter energetically telling you to do during this time, which is typically rest, hibernate, you know, that kind of stuff. So we'll talk about that. But right now, I just really wanted to highlight, again, the season that we're in, fall the season that we're in with Scorpio and, and, and bringing about transformation and change in our life which really comes from again letting go of things that are not serving us so we can create that change within ourselves and within our lives so we can create and manifest again the life that we want and it, we can't contradict ourselves we can't have contradictory behavior and actions and thoughts if we're trying to manifest a certain lifestyle
We have to align ourselves with that vibration and with that energy. And that comes with releasing and letting go of the things that no longer serve you. So you know how they say, be water, be like a tree, my friend, and let them damn leaves go. They can't go with you, okay? They can't. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it sparked you to really think about in your life, what can you release? What can you let go of that is no longer serving the person that you want to be, okay? And what can you incorporate in your life that will elevate and align you with the goals and with the person that you know you already are intuitively and innately? You just have to walk in that path. So. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay, make sure you subscribe and then hit that notification bell so you stay updated anytime I post videos. I will be posting videos twice a week, but again, there is no certain days. So if you hit that notification bell button, you'll know exactly when my videos are posted and you'll be updated. I'm also bringing some bonus videos every month, which will be super excited. So on top of the two videos that you're getting a week, you may get a third video in that week that will be a bonus video. But the only way you'll know is if you're subscribed and if you hit that notification bell. So I appreciate you all, all of my new subscribers. I appreciate you all, all of my old subscribers that have been rocking with me. I appreciate you all and we're growing, we're evolving, we're loving. Yeah, like this is what the Sacred Tribe is all about. So until next time, beautiful beings, peace.